What up guys and welcome to episode 5 of Can Lee Be A Pro? In the last episode, I actually performed like a professional ice hockey player. I got my first goal and my first assist. On the screen now is a thumbnail to take you to that episode if you want to see that goal and the assist. We did okay. You know, we lost to Buffalo horrifically and then we beat um, Carolina quite convincingly. So. It's going to be quite a test, especially this episode, because we're playing against the St. Louis Blues and we're going against the Winnipeg Jets. Two really good teams. St. Louis Blues, really, really good team. Winnipeg, um, consistently, I don't know how they're going to look this year, because obviously Andrew Ladd has gone to the New York Islanders and they've got a few good young players coming through, the, through their team. So we'll see how they get on. Uh, Blake Wheeler, obviously, is a scary problem there and Shifley and a few other, I think it's Truba. I think he is there, a defender, I think. I could be wrong, but anyway, um, moving on. We're going to get straight into this episode, guys. We are going to get straight into our St. Louis Blues game. We're just simulating to it. There we go. They're two and two. We're one and three. Holy moly. Are we at home or are we away? We're going to find out now. We're at home again. Actually, you know what? We're going to change our kits. Uh, we, oh yeah, we're going to go alternative. That's it. We're going to rock the orange this episode. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. And hopefully we can pick up another W for our season. Championships in their past, their future is in the here and now, and they're about to play another NHL match, these Edmonton Oilers. Greetings from Edmonton, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emery. You cannot come here without thinking of the glorious past, much of it decorated and hanging from the rafters, all those proud teams you had to play against in the 1980s. Yeah, coming in at that particular time, my rookie season in 1984-85, coming up against the Edmonton Oilers, winning four straight Stanley Cups. But you think about the winning, but all the great players, Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, Yari Curry, Paul Coffey. How much time do we have here, Doc? History, certainly right at the very top of the list for the Edmonton Oilers. McDavid's obviously a tremendous hockey player. He is well aware of the history of those players that came before him here in Edmonton, but he cannot use that as a pressure. He has to use that as a motivator to get this team back to where those teams were back in the early 80s. Yeah, I completely agree. Hopefully he'll freaking do something because he's only got one point so far, and this is our fifth game this season. But anyway, that's me just being negative towards Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, I mean David. Jesus. Jesus, I'm getting the sports mixed up. Oy. Oh, no, we were with the terrible line guys. Ryan Nugent, Hopkins, Jao Nakapov, and our lovely friend, David Puglia. So here we go. Go on, Yakupov, do something. Beautiful. All right, there we go. Nice. Well done, Nugent Hopkins. Well done, mate. Here we go. Here's our line. My favorite line, Dreisaitl, oh, Hendricks, and I believe, is it Mournier? I think it is Mournier or Maroon. Oh, he sets me up as well. Oh, put it over the bloody net. Here we go. All right. Uh. There we go. Uh. Hendricks, well done. Why pass it to me? There we go. Dry cycle. Ah, oh, set you up. I'm happy. I'm happy with the first shift. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Sounds like a really horrible Italian attitude. Like, hey, I'm happy. Hey. Bortuzzo. Here we go. Go on, pass it down the line. Oh, big hit there by me. Big hit there by me. Good save. Puglia again. Can't find a barn door with his passes. All right, go on. Go, go, Yakupov. On your own. We'll pass it. Oh, I missed it. And I bloody miss it like a prune. Go on. There we go. Well done. Well, come back. Well done. But you know what? I'm happy. I'm really, really happy that we haven't conceded, you know. To be quite frank, especially against the Blues, who are really, really good. Wow, that was a mega hit. And again, Lee. Oh, damn it. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. 
damn it! If I stayed... Ugh. If I stayed where I was, instead I crouched, I could have blocked uh, that shot. By Pietrangelo, I believe. Yeah, Alex Pietrangelo. Damn it. Yeah, if I went straight for it, I could have blocked it with my chest. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. If I stayed up instead of doing that crouch, I would have been there. But anyway, C, C, C plus. Gosh darn it. Come on, boys. Uh, right. End of the first period. And we're down 1 0. Not too shabby. Because I did say at the beginning of the whole thing that St. Louis is going to be a problem. And it's just a little bit unfortunate. But anyway, yeah, we're playing overall at a C minus, and we've got two normal C's and a C plus. So come on. Let's get into this. I believe in this. Come on. Let's get another win. We're not out of this yet. Definitely not out of this. Here we go. Simming because we're not on the starting line. Let's get straight into it. Do not concede. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Come on, here we go. Now Yakupov. Here we go, big hit. Nice. Looks ahead to start something. And he gains the zone. Button quickly back. Gone back. Keep going. Keep going back. Corralled by Cassie. Yes! Nice pass, Cassian. Jeez Louise, that was beautiful. Good finish by Beck. Makes it 1-1. One, one. Get in, lads. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful, beautiful play. Let's go, Oilers. Really nice finish. Nice pass as well. Beautiful, well done. It's beautiful. Beautiful pass. And it's one apiece. Come on, lads. Cuban. Here we go, beautiful. Have that gone back. I'll have it back. Nice, here we go. Go on, get it. Why is... Why Why did that player do that dump pass and then no one come for it? That makes no sense. Here we go, I'll get this. Here we go. Flat out speeding. I'm just speeding. There we go. They're giving me enough... They're giving me enough time to do it. Yeah, we go. Oh, redirection almost worked. Oh, I was just going to put it on net, which I did, and then almost recycled in. I was saying redirected re uh, in. Yeah, it almost goes in. Oh. But anyway, there we go. C, C plus, C, B minus. Get in. See, I seem to play really well for the team. My overall stat's not so good. Put it in. All right. Larson, win it. Nice. Keep it in. Well kept in. What a scrum. Rocked and held like a baby. Oh, hello. Hello. Still going. This is good play. This is good pressure. Oh, damn it. I hit McDavid. Yeah! Slap shot, baby. Get in. That's what I've been trying to do. Slap shots. I should just do freaking slap shots. There we go. Second goal of the season for me. Get in, lads. Come on. Lee's roof tickler goes in from the high slot. Sometimes your best isn't enough. This is a perfect shot up over a desperation attempted glove save. Thank you. Perfect shot. I'll take that. It's a very good positive, positive thing to say. And look at this, guys. That was with McDavid, Lucic, and I want to say, uh, yes, Jordan Eberle uh, as the second uh, other lineman. First line, I can score goals. Everyone else, it's just, it seems to be an uphill struggle. But I'll, I'll get that. There we go. Right, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Skate in and then take it. Hendricks, go down the line. Perfect. And I'm going to come off because it'll be a long shift otherwise. Beautiful. C plus B, C and B minus. Get in. All right. I got the go-ahead goal, guys. Keep a hold of it. Come on. Keep a hold of the goal. Gosh darn it. Why do I always jinx it? Why do I always jinx it? All right, dry sight. Oh, come on, buddy. Send us home. Nice. Okay, I'm going to set you up. Shoot it. Oh, unlucky. All right, Hendricks, go on. That's yours. Oh, you fanned on it. 
This is good, though. This is a good play. Let's keep up the pressure. Let's keep the pressure up. It's coming. It's coming. I've got... I can smell. I can taste another goal coming. Oh, my days! I almost got it. Okay, dry cycle. Get round me. Move round me. <laughs> the AI isn't that smart in this game. All right. Ferraro. Beautiful. Take that. All right, here we go. Uh. Boom, down the line. Damn it. I should have followed it up with a shot. <gasps> There we go. Go on, Hendricks. And I'm coming off because I'm a bit tired from the looks of it. Oh, no. It's uh, not allowing me because it's going to be a hooking. And it's B minus B, C, and B. So we're on the power play, which is nice. So come on. Ooh, I get to play on the power play. This is nice. Fancy that. It's only taken them five, five games to realize I, I'm pretty good on the power play. Here we go. Uh. I better not jinx myself now. Here we go. Use your pace. Good land, I believe. Go on, Ebbs. Oh! Jordan! Oh! See, why would you pass it to me there? I'll take that, though. Oh, it's on the line! Shoot it! There we go. I'll block that. And I can't get round because the defender's stuck. Oh, damn it. Okay, yes indeedy. 2-2, two, two. not too shabby. I'm pretty happy with that, 2-2. Two, two. I'm pretty happy with that. You know, like I said, I don't think we were going to score. But hey, I'm pretty happy with how we're playing. Uh, so we've got B minus B, C and B. Not too shabby. I'll take that. Very, 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 very positive start for us. Coming in the third period, we should get a win. Am I going to start? I'm going to start, man. Look at this. I'm playing with Larson. This is good. I'm being bounced around the lines. Nice. I'll take that. Go on, Lucic. Use your body. Good lad. Go on, Lucic. Keep going. Ooh. I wanted him to score. Okay, still 2-2. I'm happy with that. All right, lads. Larson. Larson centers it. Oh, unlucky. Keep it there. Keep fighting, son. All right, I've got this. Adam, I'm going to call for it. I'm just going to keep battling for it. Nice. I'm setting him up. Hit it. Yes. Yes. Oh. <sighs> so close. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I missed that check. There we go, I'll poke check him though. And I'll poke check it again, and I'll hit this guy. There we go, uh, well done. Jeez, Brodziak on the scored. <gasps> so close again. Oh, I'm getting a bit tired. I'm coming off. I shouldn't have come off, though. I think we're okay, though. All right, B. B plus C. I got an A minus for team play. My first A. Woo. Okay, we haven't conceded. Good, 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 good. Clutch time. This is overwhelming. Skates it behind the net. It's offside, nice. It's offside, I need to come off, I'm tired. Thank you. All right, B plus, B plus, B minus, A minus for team play. A minus, I'm doing so good for team play. If I keep everything in a B plus and an A minus, it might, might push towards an A minus. And that's the end of the whole game. It's going to overtime, though. Oof, unbelievable. Holy, holy moly. Right. B minus, B minus, no, B, two B pluses, a B minus, and an A minus. Overtime, here we go. I don't think I'm going to start, am I? Or am I? <gasps> I've started. Oh, this is scary. So it's McDavid, me, and Sakura, and he still can't win a face-off. I did a poke check, but he didn't come to anybody. Oh, God. Oh, man, I went flying out. 
I went flying out to block the shot, and that's what's cost us. Gosh darn it. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, that's frustrating. So here we go. B minus. Oh, B plus. C plus. It was a C plus because of that thing. Gosh darn it. And then A minus for the team. So it's probably going to be a B, isn't it, overall now? It's going to be a B or something. Yeah, B overall. Gosh darn it. Oh, man. I thought he was going to hit it. That's why I went down on my knees. Oh, never mind. Okay, so three stars. Yes, I'm the third star again. Look at that. One goal, eight hits. Man, I'm a beast. And with that, I'm going to go quit to hub. What up, guys? So that is it. That's it. The game. The game's done. We lost in OT. I could put my hand up and say, I I thought he was going to shoot. That cost us the game. But anyway, um, we have some positive news from the looks of it. Uh, good news. Medical staff. Uh, Brandon Davidson has been cleared to return to full uh, the roster full time. Uh, you'll probably be making some line changes shortly now that he's back. Okay. Not too shabby. So we're going to simulate anyway. We're simulating to our Winnipeg game. And our, and our record's not too shabby, you know. One win, three losses, and one overtime loss. So we're doing okay, not too shabby. So with that being said, we're going to get straight into our second game, and it is against the Winnipeg Jets. Hopefully we can get a W. We are away, uh, and they are home. So this is going to be a bit tricky because Winnipeg do make a lot of noise at home. So hopefully uh, we can get a W here. Winnipeg. Provincial capital of Manitoba, where the support of the home crowd is deafening, and that crowd ready to yell themselves hoarse for the Winnipeg Jets. Hi, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and we see a team tonight that lost their most recent game in overtime. So I guess there's kind of a missed signal there, but how do you see? Well, I think anytime that you can accumulate points during a regular season is certainly very important, Doc, and I think that's what they have to build off of, of losing that game in overtime and hopefully getting now the full complement of points after losing that game the other day. The Oilers coaching staff message is pretty simple. You cannot lose focus at any time, which is what happened the other night in overtime. Tonight's a new night. Instead of one point, they're looking for two points at the conclusion of this game. Now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. This man's got the start. You know, if they like the goalie and they like the goalie, <sighs> Right, guys. This is it. This is the final game of this episode, so we better freaking win. I'm starting on the bench again after playing really well. It's kind of a straight. Now, I'm, I don't get to start games, I'm, and I'm not on the top line. But I'm with Larson, and oh, there it is. I'm playing with the dreaded line of Hopkins, uh, Yakupov, and Pouliot. Oh, I've got it right away. Fire. I'll try to put it over his shoulder and give a rebound to Yakupov. He just couldn't get there in time. But here we go. I'm going to skate backwards now. Hello. Why did you push me, sir? Booger off. Right, Larson, well played. Murray, why are we dumping it in? Holy sh**. That's probably... what. Oh, no, it's a penalty, though. That's elbowing, ain't it? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Dry cycle, is it? I think it's dry cycle. No, it's Hendricks. Look at this. Jesus Christ, he sent him flying. Enstrom was down and out on that. No way. What the hell just happened? How did that get in goal? How did that get in the goal, seriously, from that angle? I want to see this. I need to see this. Connor McDavid just hit that into his own net. Like, he baseball batted it, look. Bang. Man, we have scored more own goals in this whole, you know, season so far than actual normal goals. This is ridiculous. I got a Dean Plus now in defense because of that. This is bullshit. I did all my work properly. It's bullshit. Propelled to Matthias. There you go. I blocked that for it. Back on his stick. Pucks 
Yeah, I did it again. I didn't get a thing for it. And that, I blocked, jabbed another one. Jeez, how many post checks am I doing and I'm not getting points for? That's bull. Go on, Hendricks. He's going to dump it in. Watch. Yeah, look at that. Dumping. It's not working, but we'll keep doing it because, yay, why the hell not? So annoying. Wow, 2 0. Pitching it to dry side. Jeez Louise. He's in on an onside. Why dump it in? Behind the net. Led on to Larson. Yes, what a save that was. That was goal bound. Come on, dry side. Well, you're a big boy. Got to get back now. Mashed in. Ugh. Wow, he just gave it to him. He just gave it to him, and Blake Wheeler just hit the post because some guy decided to flipping give it to him. Yeah, see, I'm poke checking like crazy, and I'm going to come off because I'm tired. But geez, Louise, boys, it's ridiculously annoying. C, C minus, C plus. Jeez, Louise, I don't understand why dump in. Right. First period, and we're down 2 nothing. We're doing dump and chase, which doesn't bloody work. And it's just getting more and more frustrating on my eyes. But anyway, C minus, C, C minus, C plus. Although, look at the shots at right now. We've got nine, they have 19. Jesus, we haven't even made double figures yet. Now it has not even got there. I was trying to do a slap. Brian Little, take that. Okay. There we go. Go on, Yax. And we're about to dump and chase again. Oh, actually, it worked this time. And no, uh, we didn't get the goal. Oh, they're just dumping in. I'm just going to come off again. It's just becoming frustrating now. Like, we're getting men up. You can see there's three men on like one or two players and they decide to just dump it in and the defender somehow always gets it. What's the point of playing when we're doing tactics that are f stupid, that aren't working? It's like, it might work in real hockey, sure. But it doesn't seem to work for our team at the moment. Die, thank you. All right, here we go. Down the line. Oh, come on. Serious? There you go. I dive block that just to stop the bloody pass going across. Goodness gracious. Jeez. Right. So I'm really annoyed. Like, if I'm out of position, uh, there's no defenders. If I'm in position, there's the defenders get dragged out of their holes. And it's really hilariously frustrating seeing that. There is only so much you can do. Just get one. That's the coach's uh, advice to us. Just get one. It would be nice. Go on, Yak. Go, go, go. Don't bother dumping. Just go. Go. Shoot. Shoot. Put the... Right. There's only so much I can do. And that's all on now, Yakupov. I know I'm supposed to be defending. I know it's my fault that there, there wasn't enough defenders back there. But now Yakupov had enough time to either pass or put it on net. And he did too much f dangling bollocks. And we get... They get an Arban Russian score. Look at that. D plus, D, C and B minus. All because of now f Yakupov. What a... Brr. And it's 4 0 now. It is 4 0. 4 0, second period. What the absolute hell is going on? I have no idea. Shoot, put it on net. Why do so much dangling? Exactly, even the commentator said there's too much stick handling. And I pass it around the back and he gets dispossessed. Words can't describe how angry I am right now. We're 4-0 down. We're doing dump and chase hockey. That obviously isn't f working. 
And we've got players who are doing too much dangling. Too much. They're not putting shots on the net. They're just, meh, they're just playing like dicks. We need goals. We don't need to just go, all right, you know what? I've done two players with a move. I'll just do one additional on the same player so that player will get the puck. Doesn't work. Yeah, passed it down the line for a change. Pull up, do something. Just put it on net. Why? Why do a deek maneuver instead of putting a shot on net? Seriously. Put a shot on net. Seriously, please. Thanks, Trisite. Oh, all right, it's coming back to you, mate. Oh, my God, I just got train wrecked. Now it's coming back to you. There you go. Oh. See? Guys, look. Look at that. I didn't do no deking or anything. We got a shot on goal. They're on the power play. They're on the power play, and uh, we have to do a penalty kill. Good. Well done, Hendrix. Keep battling, mate. Okay, there we go. Look, see? Uh, I'll, I'll slow it down. Bang. Oh, that was kind of bad. Now we've got to go out. There we go. Clear it. Go, 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 Hendrix. Come on, mate. Come on. God. Hendrix, you can see the puck is there. Right. Am I on the ice? <gasps> I'm on the ice. Maybe something will happen. I don't know. Let's find out. Nope. Nothing's going to happen. Oh, hello. I jumped for it. Oh, I almost scored. I was trying to pass it there. I was trying to pass it across. Why did my player not do what I told him to do? I simply pressed the pass button and he didn't want to pass. There we go. Look. Oh, it's on the line. Oh, my days. Put a shot on net, Cassian. Oh, he had to hit me in the arse, didn't it? Oh, have I injured myself by getting hit in the arse? That'll be hilarious. Rebound! Oh, my days! Yes, Beck! Rebound again! Oh, my gosh. The... Right, I'm coming off. And I think I'm injured. Yes, the doctors have given you the okay to play, but be cautious out there and try not to re-aggravate the injury. I have, an, I have a bruised bum from the looks of it, then. That's what's going on. I have a bruised arsehole and an ego right now. And that's the end of the game. Wow. Wow. End of the game, 4 nothing. Wow. Ugh. Ugh. Right, guys. Another two games in the books. Our record is one win, four losses, and one overtime win. The next episode, we've got games against Washington and Vancouver. I'm praying we beat Vancouver. We might lose to Washington because they're a good team, but you never know with NHL. Never know, but their record is 3-2, and two, so I'm not so sure. But anyway, on the screen now, as you can see, you can go to the next episode when it is live or next week if you're watching this weekly. Um, on the screen as well is also last week's episode where... I went off on one. I got, uh, I think I got my first goal and my first assist. So you can go watch that. That's a very good shiny moment in my career so far. But yeah, without further ado, guys, there's Facebook and Twitter. Follow me in the link's description. Uh, yeah, uh, leave a like if you enjoy it. Leave a comment below. But yeah, I'm not, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a real struggle. So I, know, I don't know if this is supposed to be real, but this is how Edmonton Oilers fans feel, I think, because... I have a lot of friends who are in Canada who are Oilers fans, and they always feel a bit disappointed when they lose. So maybe that's it. Maybe I have literally started to feel how how crappy Edmonton have become. I don't know. But anyway, without further ado, guys, take care, have a good one, and we'll see you next week for episode six.